Hey everyone, I'm on break, so I thought I'd jump on and do a quick video for y'all. Um, it's all about keeping your hair long. Those of you that are growing your hair out and you're like, just take a little smidge of dusting because I'm trying to grow my hair out, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how you can maintain and retain your hair length. So first thing, two to three times a week, I know that's what you're washing your hair, use a moisturizing shampoo. You want to keep your hair from drying out and getting brittle and breaking off because then you're just giving yourself a haircut every time you brush your hair. Second of all, you want to use a clarifying shampoo at least once a month because it's going to get rid of all the product buildup and the environmental buildup. Um, and you really want, you, you don't want to use it too much because it could be drying. The one that I recommend is not drying because it's packed with essential oils. So you could use this more than once a month, but I'd recommend a clarifying shampoo at least once a month. Um, oil treatments. You need to do oil treatments on your scalp because a healthy scalp is healthy hair. I recommend the Rejuvenate by Monate. Love this stuff. I do it once every two weeks. I get in there, I massage it in, I sleep with it, I wake up and I wash my hair and my hair like feels awesome. Um, you can also use it as like on your ends as a finisher. Next thing, stay away from heat tools. I know I have issues staying away from heat tools too, but I use the heat protectant so it helps. But you want to stay away from heat tools as much as you possibly can. Um, if you color your hair, bleach it, use heat tools, a blow dryer, like you like to rough your hair up, you need to do protein treatments. Too much protein is not good. It can cause your hair to break, so you don't want to use it too much, like every four or five washes. It's a, usually a deep conditioning hair mask that you leave on for like five, ten minutes. Um, and it's going to go in and it's going to fill all those cracks and holes that like you, d you put there from damaging your hair. So it's going to help maintain the integrity of your hair as, as best as it can and it's going to repair it. All right, next, scalp treatments. Scalp treatments, this is a handy dandy little massager that vibrates when you turn it on. Um, if you don't want to do a massage treatment on yourself, on your scalp, I would love to do it come see me. But you want to really you like get in there to um, increase the circulation of your blood flow and stimulate your follicles so that your hair grows. Healthy hair, you need a healthy scalp. Take care of that scalp. I know I've said it before, chop, chop. You need to get your hair trimmed, even if it's just a slight dusting, because if you don't keep your hair ends straight, then like it's, you're just going to break it off. Like I said, when you go to brush your hair, you're just going to break it off yourself. Wouldn't you rather me cut it like in a nice straight line than have like crazy ends? Um, if you don't want to get your hair cut, I have the perfect product for you. It's called Rejuva Beads. It is our split end mender. It doesn't permanently mend or it doesn't permanently fix your split ends, but it mends them temporarily so that it can get you to your next haircut. So it goes like this. That's what it does. Um, air dry. Air dry your hair as much as you can. I like to air dry my hair before I even blow dry it, like 80%. Um, it cuts down on hair on dry time too, but a lot of my um, clients, my friends, family, they like the air dry cream, those of you that air dry your hair, because it makes your hair soft, smooth, shiny, it makes it really pretty, it brings back like color, the vibrancy of your color. Um, but yeah, air dry cream. The other thing I was gonna say is like when I air dry my hair, I use a microfiber towel. This one's from Nora Wax. Thanks, Deb. Um, it absorbs a lot of the water from your hair so that you don't have to blow dry it as long. So the other thing with that is your hair is the most fragile when it is wet. So that's why you want to absorb as much water out of it as possible. And when you do go to brush it, I do recommend a wide tooth comb when you brush your hair or not brush your hair, comb your hair after a shower or whatever. But um, I myself have a hard time with the with these. So I do use the wet brush, which I absolutely recommend. I go in and I do this and then I do this and then I do this. Ripping sounds are not good. And last but least, sleep with satin. I don't know how many times I say it. You guys wake up in the morning with frizzy, out of control hair. I do not because I use satin. Like our grandparents, our great grandparents, our great, great grandparents, like swore on satin like it's good for your skin it's good for your hair use it satin pillowcases satin bonnets I just went to Sally's the other day to see if I could pick up a couple of these for you guys and like they were all out um so that is it if you have any questions about any of the products that I just showed you or you have any questions about like your products and are they helping you let me know hit me up 
message me, text me, whatever. And I, I mean, I can help you. I will. I've been helping people, women 35 to 70 years old with their hair issues or hair concerns to get them the hair that they always wanted or the hair that they used to have. So let me know. I'm here for you always. But until then, I hope you are having a great day. All right. Got to get back to work now. Bye-bye.